There's been a lot of talk in the media and obviously fans, etc., not good enough. And it's not good enough when you lose lose a test match to anyone. But uh, Bangladesh are very tough at home. Usman's form you know, here has been a bit of an issue. Um, do you expect him to get another go? I'll have to wait and see with the wicket, mate. Yeah. Um, look, it, it disappointing for him. Uh, obviously, a, a few other players that uh, were disappointing in the Test match. Um, if we had contributions for everyone, we, we'd probably win the game. So, you know, he's doing everything to try and change his game from here to home. We know he's a very good player at home and on those sort of wickets. Um, so we just have to wait and see. Putting your more selectorial hat on, if you like, and the contribution you make to that process, is there a consideration to play Peter Hanscom as the wicketkeeper and leave out Matthew Wade on account of the fact that he hasn't sort of had a chance to make many runs in? His return to the test side. Oh, again, once we get there, have a look at the wicket and the conditions, and, and whether we uh, change that or, or go with one quick or two quicks or three spinners. Uh, really, it comes down to what we want to uh, set up our sideline for the second test and the wicket, I suppose. So, just to clarify, it's not ruled out that you could make a change. Oh, it's not ruled out with any of the eleven, really, or the fourteen here. Any of them can play. Did you ever imagine that you'd be contemplating going into a test with only one quick? No, but the way the wicket says we saw, I think, well, how many overs did the quicks bowl? In the, uh, for them, two or three overs in the second innings. You know, you, you're not, you're not going to have too many overs bowl with the quicks as the game goes on. Um, and we expect the same sort of pitch, and that's fine. That's just what you expect here. Yourself and Steve spoke ahead of the first test about players sacrificing their egos over here. And I, I suppose, did you think that the batsmen acquitted themselves pretty well with that in the first test? Or uh, um, I think the second innings are very good. First inning's not so good. I think I think we missed some balls that we normally shouldn't be missing, and what we trained to do, we, we didn't implement them on the ground. So the egos are fine. I think they, they left them there, um, but we just didn't execute how we wanted to play in these conditions in the first innings. And when you only make two seventeen, and probably you know the wicket wasn't great from day one, but you know you've got to be able to get around that like we did in the second innings. I thought we actually played pretty well. Last couple guys. So actually, was that like a really complicated process just because there was a decision made originally to move in another direction and then, you know, was that... No, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, it wasn't complicated at all. Um, with, uh, you know, the skipper, obviously Trevor and myself went. Well, we need another spinner as well. Obviously, got Swepps in here who could play as well. So, for us, it was a case of what what do we need and what's the best balance for the next Test match. So it was pretty easy, mate. What's the mood like in the camp? Well, you've seen them. They're not, they're not too bad. I mean, they're, they're hurting. Obviously, they've been pretty uh, quiet the last couple of days um, and really just getting. You know their head right. I, mean, I think it gets down a more mental side of the game than preparation. I, I can't complain about the the work ethic and everything off the uh, off the ground. They're, they're ready to go. It's just that change of mindset when the, when they cross the rope.